yeah, 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 yeah. It was time to make an ice castle in honor of winter and all this on excitement and staying at home. This is something we can all do together. So I've got some empty containers here. We're gonna fill them with water. Food coloring, got my ice buckets filled up with water and we're just going to make each of them a different color. So simply taking some drops, we'll make this one blue. Don't know how strong it's gonna be just yet. And, ooh, actually looks red. And it's winter time and it's really cold out. So this is a fabulously perfect time to be making an ice castle. So grab a stick, stir the color in. That looks kind of cool. Don't know what it's gonna look like when it freezes. The blue looks blue. So here we go, just carefully carrying all these beautiful buckets of color outside. And yeah, it's like winter out here. So they can stay out here and they're gonna freeze and then we'll put it all together. I'll get everybody involved and watch this grow. For our uh, ice castle, I gotta put together a little ad uh, so I can uh, just Send it out to my neighbors, put it on Instagram, maybe Facebook, inviting people to make blocks of ice to add to our castle so it can be as big as we can uh, possibly get it uh, during these deep freeze days. Please help. And then it's going to say, please help build an ice castle. So there you go. That's the start of it. And now we're just gonna put some instructions underneath. I'm going to take a photo of it, post it in some places, send it to some neighbors, get everybody involved, but not until I get my castle started outside. So I'm gonna go take some photos of that, get the base together. This is gonna be so awesome. It's a bitterly cold day out today, but we've got sunshine and blue skies. So I put this little platform together down by the road where we're going to put this ice castle together. So I'm simply going to un take the ice out. I have sprayed a little bit of water on there. This is mostly in the shade here so hopefully it'll last the longest. And we're going to see what happens. There you have it. That's the first three bricks in our ice castle. And hopefully the community is all going to participate. I'll get some kids involved, some adults who are still kids at heart, and we'll build this into a very large castle. I realized that I've got to put a big sign out for the ice castle so that all the people that walk by know what it's all about. So there's my little one. We did that yesterday. I just cut out a piece of foam cork, happen to have that lying around the house, and uh, I'm going to letter basically the same information that I've got on my little sign onto the big one. So there we go. Anybody that walking by will hopefully understand what this is all about and contribute. And that ice bucket's going to freeze, and then I'll be able to take it the sign out of there as well. So here we go. Let's go. add these. Day two. All done. Day three of this build. Got some more buckets ready here. And most of them are pretty light in color. No. Added the clear ice ones that I made today. Want to put more of a base there for the other folks. And there's the one in the post which I just did as clear ice. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. I should get my squirt bottle. Add some water. They're a little bit melting, so. Look at those great colors. Oh, look at that. More. More purple. Here we are. Day five 
of building this magnificent ice castle and I guess maybe about five different neighbors have participated and I've been doing a lot of work myself and it's just been amazingly fun and we're just gonna go around the back of the ice castle and take a look at all sides because it's pretty magnificent even the back here we are day six of fun with trees building our ice castle and it is snowing and blowing today that is orange we hadn't had any brilliant orange in there yet and the snow plant hasn't come by yet i'm wondering when he does if the rumbling of the ground is going to make our castle tumble but I guess we'll have to see wait and see people are starting to add interesting things into their ice and thank you everybody for joining in the fun Here, day seven of building the ice castle and my buckets are empty and I finished adding all this gloriousness today Today we added these little tiny cups, which I made a big white round with little ones inside it and has turned quite interesting. And the temperature is right around zero, but luckily we're not in the sunshine. Although yesterday, I think we went just above zero. So there was a little bit of melting happening, but I think that's just going to bring our castle together and make it even stronger as it continues to grow. A family with two youngsters strolled by and they put these magical snowballs on the top of all the towers. I took a photo, the street light actually shines on the castle. And then a huge snowstorm of over 30 centimeters buried us. I think it's day 11. And we kind of got caught in a big snowstorm the other day. So parts of this have now been rebuilt again and dug out. And it's just looking awesome. We are back into the deep freeze really as the towers continue to grow and get bigger. And the sun was shining through just a little bit, which made it pretty magnificent. Here we are, day 14, and the sun has peaked between the houses. We can now see the sun shining through all these magnificent ice pieces and towers, and they have just grown like crazy and is looking magnificent. Even still a snowball there. Excellent. I am loving this. Day 15 of this ice castle build. It's just looking incredible. I'm looking forward to the sun shining through it this afternoon, hopefully around 2 o'clock. Day 16 of the castle build. And this ice castle is getting famous. There is now numerous people that have posted it on their Facebook page and even saw it on somebody else's Instagram page. So this is spectacular. Keep sharing it. Keep Day 17, another deep freeze day. Added the birthday cake from my friend's 50th celebration. And somebody's been by this morning and added some little pieces. And we've been doing some rebuilding. And here we go all the way around the castle again. See what's going on on all angles. Parts where pieces have fallen down and I've tried to rebuild them. And some of these pieces are looking really interesting. Wonderful things happening here from the top down. 
looking inside the castle. I wonder who is living in there. Winter fairies have made their home in this beautiful ice sculpture of 2021. Sometimes the pieces tumble and break and I can't get it back together again quite the same. The base definitely needs to be strong and frozen before you can do some crazy building. But here you go, February 14th. And I am so pleased with this magnificent ice castle. Thank you to all the neighbors and friends that helped build it. Thank you to all the people that joined in. Thank you to all the people that photographed it and enjoyed it. And may you build your own ice castle soon. Chicky, hey Chicky, say goodbye. This is it, the end of the ice castle 20. 21. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe, and you'll get in on all the fun with trees. See you again soon.